Hello everyone, welcome back to Edgington, the city on the edge. So, it is dawn of day 36, and everybody's waking up and getting to work, hopefully on <laughs> fixing up this slight disaster of a roof so far. Um, I have also, in the course of the evening, marked out a few spots where we're going to have a few more lights along the roads. There's still a pack of wolves up here, but I'm fairly confident that our uh, penguin and paper, our pe our pen and paper, let's call them that, our pen and paper infantry team can uh, sufficiently handle that. And oh yay, successfully cut dining, just great, we're getting better at that. Um, and meanwhile, our food is still hold it, it's holding relatively stable, about 1085. We really need a lot less than that, so we're doing pretty dang well, I'd say. And if need be, I can of course just tell people to go back to fishing, because that worked so dang well. I might just start telling everyone that comes in next as being a fisherman, because that'll do pretty well, I think. But uh, yeah, that's enough iron for everything, I think. Very good. And then that'll be the roads very clearly indicated. Uh, though I don't think that actually has any impact upon anything but visibility. Ah, uh, and not really very much went down in the night. Um, let's see. Yeah, I've just got something going up here to craft that. Thank you, Frerin, is it? Yes. New light. Hooray. So let's see, there's a few spiders still roaming around. This area is just wolf corpses. Over here are the three actually alive wolves, I believe. Yeah, these are actual alive wolves. Oh yeah, look, he stood up. He's perfectly fine. Not for much longer because the like it won't be terribly long before our uh, our patrols get up here again. Oop, and there's another one. Because Hazar is also on carpeting. Carpet carpenting, carpet carpet tree. Yes, because carpeting is something else. And where are you off to then? Bernard. Oh, you're actually coming to fix up this part. Yay! Hooray! And we're going to be a little bit on the low side in terms of lumber. Oh, hello. Who's this? Is this somebody coming back? Oh, yeah, that's just paper. I thought we'd gotten a new, uh, a new settler very early into the episode. Jeez. Yeah, I've, I've marked, as I was saying, we've, we've gotten like a little bit on the low side for lumber, so I've just set basically everything towards us from each of the roads to be uh, chopped down. Which will hopefully get us a few more trees to put down here as well. Like, I don't expect it'll take us terribly much to get another row at least finished there. In fact, to that end, I'm going to come down here in all my wibbly glory and uh, actually set that up. So let's see, it's under decor. And we want a tree. Boop, 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 do. I have to take that one down. You'd think it would actually, like, restrict you, but nope. Not a chance. Okay, cancel that one. Cancel that one. There we go. So as soon as we can cut those down, get those, uh, planted, we can. Let's just hide those eggs. Remove the stump, because that's the main important part that gets us a seedling. Ah... And things are looking pretty, fairly quiet, honestly. Which means inevitably they won't be, I'm sure, but we'll see. Phew. Yeah, we even need to get... Maybe more, maybe another miner will be good, so we can get through these a bit more speedily. Or maybe a couple more people on, our, on like, infantry. Uh, if nothing else, then to, like, man the ballistae over here. Oh yay, Gratz Clover, level 5 fisherman. Um, beyond that, uh, I think we should just focus on getting more food, honestly. That's about it. So maybe some more infantry, maybe some more miners. Other than that, just food. Uh, I think you got one more there. Here we go, remove that stump. And I think Sawtooth should have some jobs to do. Looks so like that's happening. I think. Nope. Sort of. Oh, there you are. I had you the first time. Always the way. Look, 
looking for the birth for the person in green. Okay, what are you carrying? Diddly squat is what you're carrying currently. Oop, spider has been by paper. We don't have to worry, a spider will not be a problem. Nonetheless, I'll take a look. Yeah, it's a single spider, nothing else on the periphery. You'll be fine. Yep, and level 7. Hooray! Apparently you're just waiting, sort of. Okay then, um... Unfortunately, if I, t if I just, like, force move you over to there, you're just gonna have an issue. Um, if I come over here... Have I actually marked those wolves for, like, retrieval of resources? I actually don't know. Gather resources. We'll find out this way. Okay, well now you're off, apparently. Gathering from Dead Wolf. You have nothing in your inventory. How are you going to do this? Okay, fine. And stone tongs have broken. Let's see, stool tools. We still have four. Let's add five to the queue just in case. I keep forgetting that scrolling down will not actually get me where I want to be. Move to top. There we go. And a few more stumps to mark. The only thing that could probably cause some problems for our uh, our patrols right now is if all three of those wolves, or maybe two of them at a stretch, um, descended upon one one of our units, which is fairly unlikely. Nope, nope, not aiming for the tree. I'm trying to aim for the spider. Dispose. No need of a spider. Uh, but other than that, I think we're doing, doing well here. And right as I say that, we get the spooky, creepy music. Uh... Why, game? Why? Why do you do this to me? Why must you toy with my sense of safety? Oh yes, I also marked a couple more beds out, because we seem to be a little bit shy on them. But we should be okay. What do we need for that? Just cloth. Okay, that's a job for a sender, then. Add five of that to the list. Uh, let's see, animal hair, animal hide, hooray! Hide goes into leather, leather goes into leather tunics. So that's some more jobs for Resender then. Doesn't go into five leather tunics, but I'm optimistic. Okay, let's gather resources on the other ones as well then. Not the tree, the corpse. Give me corpse. Thank you. And that one. Great. Now, of course, if Sawtooth is in fact wearing diddly squat, including, like, no weaponry, no actual, like, armor at all, he can outrun the wolves, but he's not going to be very good at fighting them, which will be his immediate action. So we ideally want to get rid of them. And how are you? Pretty good, I would say. Uh... They're a fair distance away, honestly. They're keeping their distance from the roads. That might be intentional. I don't know if that's actually programmed into them. I doubt it is, but they might. But it might be. You never know. Presumably we're going to see sort of coming back out here soon. Yeah, there he is. Oh, and we got some dirt going in. Hooray! Because I still need to expand most of the food farms over here. Because I haven't got this section filled out. Oh, and that bed is now craftable. Hooray! Let's just turn the... Oh, okay, good. No new seedlings, apparently. But it doesn't seem like we've actually taken down many trees, so that could be why. Presumably the tree stumps don't carry for much, so, uh... Margaret's just prioritizing the actual full trees. Yeah, how are you doing down there, Bumble? What level are you? Level 9. Approaching level 10. Yay! You are disloyal. Okay, then. No commentary to provide there. I know 
is Soul Sawtooth coming out? Where are they, where are they gone? I really wish I knew what order it's being used for this. Sawtooth, there you are. Okay, you are on your way. Right, good to know. A merchant has arrived. He's on the perfectly safe side, but no, he's actually just going to leave. Because if he was actually feeling like stopping by, he probably would have actually started moving. Maybe he just saw that we're too awesome. We're clearly too awesome to need his assistance. So we're just going to wander off instead. That's what'll happen. More hide, more hair, more fat. Yay. Did we seriously craft, craft only the one hide? Oh, yeah, we have two hides. I don't quite know why we've only managed one lever from it. So how are we doing? We're up to 58 lumber. How much are you carrying, Margaret? Two. Two lumber. Oh, and you've leveled up. Hooray! Getting better. Oh, and burned stone hammer's broken. Fortunately, stone tools you can craft fairly easily, like, without an actual tool. That's a, that's an intentional feature, like, you can craft low-grade tools without actually having a tool. But, uh, higher-up ones you need something for. The trick is having lumber and having, uh, stone. Raw stone. If you mess up in your early days and use up all of your stone or use up all of your wood before you have the tools to get more, you are in a lot of trouble. Which is also why it's good to keep an eye on things whilst you're building stuff out of stone. Materials like that. That's it, that's made out of brick two. We have no more brick two on our list here. But we have some in stock. So. Storage cap reached on tools. Okay, I'll put one in here. Structures. Storage. Tool chest. There we go. Have three, because they're made out of locks. So why not? <sighs> How are we doing over here with the bodies? Which have, it would seem, hit the floor. Still two more. Sawtooth, you've got more work to do. Where are you? Hello. There you are. What are you up to? Gathering from the dead. Okay, you are working, you're just kind of slow at it. That's fine, that's fine. At least once you've gotten the uh, materials off of them, we can see about getting you some better armor. And those tool chests are already there. Hooray! So how are we doing on storage capacities? The only way we have to worry about right now is mining. <laughs> Well, I do need to put a mining stockpile in here, in the near future. I might work going down now. Tree, not yet built. <laughs> what a world. Now the question here is, where can I put this? Because this is going to be uneven no matter how I put it. <laughs> Let's plonk it there, in the middle. Ish. And we seriously haven't recovered any seedlings. Oh, there's one. Yay! And a bunch of hide and wood knots. Is that all of them? That is all of them. Okay, so how much are you carrying now? You're carrying five hide, nine hair, three fat, and a torch. Which you did not recover from the corpses. Maybe I should just, like, pave over, like, this whole area. Just, like, flatten it and pave it over or something. A true capitalist utopia, as it were. Okay, have I? I haven't marked all of these. Okay. Just want to do so. And are you heading out for food? Emptying your inventory. Okay, because you are currently overweight. Good. Ish. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. Ah, huh, things are chopping along quite nicely, I'd say. 1175 food. I'd say we're doing well. Uh, how are we for food? Come to think of it, food supplies are full filthy, so I can probably get rid of that. Capacities are high enough. Capacities are high enough. Good. Waste of copper, but. Now people can, grab, can get up from their beds and go and grab that food, so they don't need to worry about it being there. And also it gets out of the way here. And we can probably get rid of that one as well. That tool chest. Great. Less around here, the better. Ah, uh, oh, yep, and one of the ceilings is going up. Hooray. And here comes Sawtooth for all that leather so the Resender can get to work. Woohoo! So yeah, what people who are staring intently at the face cam might recognize is that I am... Well, mostly, at least right now, clean-shaven. Um, it's because I had to portray uh, Maid Lying recently in the new Maiding Do series. Uh, we, and that requires that I be clean-shaven, because Maid Lying doesn't have facial hair. It looks like we have a couple more... Like, it looks like we are now approaching the limits on food and seeds. So now I should probably look to see how much copper we can make. None! <laughs> None is the answer. I may have slightly done myself in. Oh dear. Let's have a look, shall we? There's a bit of copper running around. Yeah, that's copper. That's copper, that's iron. I didn't see any more, though. Tin there. Select the stuff that we don't particularly want in this first place. There's some copper right there, actually. Some tin. A bit of coal. Nice quiet morning. Not gonna complain. I'm gonna be highly suspicious, but I'm not gonna complain. And I do wonder how long it'll take to get rid of these spiders. I mean, at this point, I am fairly certain we're not going to see a spider matriarch, but I've been wrong before. I'm sorry, I haven't actually seen a new settler yet. Hmm. But hey. It is only late morning, we might see another one next episode. And then I get to use another one of these long-standing names. I do apologize to people who've been like, Oh hey, here's a name for Edgington that you can use, and I've just, like, not had anybody to name for a very, very long while. But, uh, very soon, very soon, that will hopefully be rectified, especially with all the food we've currently got. But yeah, uh, there was a suggestion that they might that the fishermen might need shallow water, so depth one, which is a problem uh, because it's exceedingly hard to make that out here in the open ocean. And additionally, if we did make it out here in the open ocean, it would mean that anything that was in the water that could swim, like wolves, for example, um, can actually enter Edgington through an area that isn't this part here. Um, so we don't want to make that near the actual, like, sea section. Which is an odd sentence now that I think about it. <laughs> um, remove the stump. Remove the stump. Uh, another question I had was, why don't I just make a tunnel into Edgington and then seal off the mainland entrance? Because right now they can, if they can swim, they can get up to this section. Um, the answer is most things can't swim. And, additionally, it's advantageous for them to be swimming, because if they're swimming, then I don't need to worry as much about hitting them, because they're a lot slower than they are on land. Wolves, for example, are very slow in water. Uh, do I not have the capacity to make any more leather? I can make a bit more leather. And how am I doing for that leather? 
Uh, it takes two to make one and a bit of cloth, so I better make the cloth. Add some of that to the list for sender. And we have some bronze. Yay! Bronze hammer! Hooray! To the victor go the spoils. Or to the hard workers, as the case may be. And how's that going with Samara? We have just one more piece to put down. Hooray! So I can get rid of this builder's cart over here. Which isn't really doing harm, but, you know, it's nice to get these things moved away from where they're no longer needed. He says, staring directly at the entirety of the, uh, of the storage. Hurts. <laughs> Whew, and it is midday. Oh, and a new merchant. Is he actually gonna merch? He's actually gonna merch! He is only actually gonna merch! Which side is he Oh, he's coming, from, he's coming from the north. Okay. Right then. Well, we'll see what he's doing, and then we'll uh, call an episode, I think, when he inevitably, hopefully, gets here. Dear God, he's slow. Okay, then, I guess we'll talk to this guy next episode. So, I hope you've all enjoyed, and... Once again, if you didn't know, um... I think it's the... The five dollar or the five pounds uh, tier, the one of the lowest tiers actually, um, of my Patreon at patreon.com slash lying is sufficient to get your name added to the list for potential settlers. So if you want to see yourself roaming around the peaceful countryside, or not, as the case may be, uh, of Edgington, that's where you go, patreon.com slash lying. With that little plug, I'll catch you all next time.